computer service technicians. As much as businesses, organizations, and individuals use and rely upon their computers, it is no wonder that the people who keep the machines running and fix them when they break down are highly valued. Computer service technicians, also called computer repairers, install, maintain, and repair computers and their peripherals in offices, factories, homes, hospitals, in the military, and wherever else they exist. They'll work in the environments of manufacturing, uh, uh, field service repair, um, repair depots, like we have here, um, research, work in the research area, um, maintenance in, uh, of computers, just maybe in s small businesses or, or departments. Are you getting any green lights on the monitor? Can you hear the hard drive coming up? Um, I hear it click. Repairers talk with users when something goes wrong. They check for common causes of trouble, such as faulty wiring, loose connections, or obviously defective components. When we get a diagnostics, we'll give you a call with an estimate on it and what it will take to repair. They run diagnostic programs or use electronic test equipment to determine problems and use hand tools to repair or replace defective parts. They must know enough about system software to determine where the problem lies. We can't always repair the computer the way they want it because we're not the engineers that designed it, but how you handle them makes a world of difference. And You teach them what the computer will do and won't do and, you know, there's some things people want out of a computer that a computer's not going to give them. So you have to get them to understand it doesn't produce that way. Some repairers work at computer shops or are hired by manufacturers or retailers to work on equipment that customers bring in. Others make office or house calls, doing routine maintenance or troubleshooting difficulties. Some businesses have their own staff of technicians to keep computer systems up and running. People make a living off computers now, and if they're down 24 hours, some of those people can't afford to be down 24 hours. And I don't think there's enough service technicians out in this field to really accommodate that for the customer. Most technicians work during normal business hours, but many are on call and must work overtime or at odd hours to handle emergencies. They don't care why it's broke, they just know it's broke and you need to fix it. <laughs> Employers prefer repairers who have completed formal training in electronics at vocational technical schools community colleges, universities, or in the military. Proven work experience is also an advantage. New employees usually receive on-the-job training from their employers. Ongoing training and education are necessary to keep up with the latest technological advances. I've continued my education. I've taken programming. I'm now enrolled in network manager classes. Um, so I have Bowtech and college. Technicians must have good manual dexterity, eyesight, and color vision to inspect and work on delicate equipment. They must be able to work independently and have a pleasant personality, neat appearance, and good communication skills. They need to want to work with people. Um, they need to be mechanically inclined, um, logical. In addition, they must be trustworthy because they are placed in positions of trust and may have access to trade secrets or other sensitive information stored in computer files. Some are required to be bonded. I'm surprised not to see as many women in the field. They make, they make excellent technicians. This profession has an extremely bright future and individuals who have the proper training, prove they can do the job and communicate well with others are likely to enjoy success. Typical job duties might include installing a computer system for a new business, running diagnostic tests to check out a glitch in the system software, making an office call to perform routine computer maintenance, and replacing a personal computer's defective motherboard. Earnings can range from $18,000 per year for entry-level jobs to more than $43,000 per year for experienced technicians. The recommended education and training includes a high school diploma, or its equivalent, accompanied by formal training in electronics and repair 
from a vocational technical program, community college or university, or the military. On-the-job training is usually offered to new employees, and continuing study of the latest technological advances is important. The job outlook is excellent, with job growth and advancement opportunities assured for the future. For additional information, write to the International Society of Certified Electronics Technicians, 2708 West Berry Street, Fort Worth, Texas, 76109.